Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Mr. Schnitzel in the house and in today's video I'm gonna introduce you and show you how you can get the Smasher and the Annihilator in this event started today. In addition to the Mad Arena started yesterday, we can get there the Grave Digger for free just for getting a third, second, first class or async and mastery badges. I'm on my way to get it as well as you can see there. We can get the Smasher and the Annihilator, but this time not for free for money. And I'm gonna show you how. So we can get also those um how they are called again. The metal buttons just uh for victories. You can get uh 30 from each victory, and we have only one attempt each day. Okay, so if I play today and I win a battle, I get 30 from those uh, metal buttons and I can just, for example, get this or this or collect them or container uh, and the second day if I win again a battle then I got then 60 metal buttons. Um, how to get the Smasher and the Annihilator? First of all, we have to go to the store and just buy one of those the can openers. If you get those can openers, you can go back there and first open those. Um, uh, metal barrel and those metal barrels we can have a chance to get five to three hundred trading cards but tough of most of the time you you will get five of them so that means from opening ten of those barrels you will get maybe let's say hundred of those of those cards and we will need as we can see there 200 of cards for the smasher and 300 for the annihilator that means you will need maybe yeah, to uh, at least, I think, yeah, buy 10 of those can openers or maybe no, more. Actually, we need to buy 20 or 30 to get at least 200 of those cards. That means we can calculate with minimum 100 euros to get at least uh, the Smasher and, uh, yeah, maybe an additional 50 euros to get the Annihilator. Very expensive. And, yeah, I will try to showcase you here. Uh, what's inside those metal bar barrels and how to open for example This rusty garage the rusty garage you can open it um, If you receive this The crowbar if you open metal barrels also very important in those metal bar barrels Sorry, there is the rama wheel animated avatar for 10k gold and Also in this rusty garage. We have the same chance to get 10k gold okay and also of course a lot of other rewards like 300k gold and uh, the brand new tank the rammer is also here okay so very interesting event and um, yeah we got also a lot of OP tier 10 tanks a lot of OP tanks in general okay a new brand new tank and of course the chance to get the annihilator and the smasher and I'm gonna open here in this video just 10 of those barrels just to showcase you what's gonna happen if we just uh, get ourselves here uh, 10 of those can openers if is it worth it or not so let's just write out Here we go, I got myself now 10 of those can openers, by the way you can also get one completely for free, I opened uh, mine already for free so just go to the store, we have an opportunity to get to get one for free and also a remote control for free, <coughs> sorry about that guys, and now let's yeah, open those uh, metal barrels and see what's gonna happen, I got myself 10 can openers and yeah we are starting now let's see worth it or not i'm not going to open more after after that after this opening um i'm going also to play uh with the smasher and the annihilator to showcase you again those vehicles so let's watch the opening and see what's gonna happen 500 gold and as i told you always you will get five trendy trading cards and in those barrels you can get also some metal buttons Wow 1500 gold, okay, not bad 
let's keep opening. So after opening 10 of those barrels, you will get also the crowbar, which will allow me to open at least one rusty garage. So each time you open 10 barrels, you will get a crowbar to open the rusty garage. Five hundred gold. So let's remind you again what we can get from those metal barrel. So a very very low chance to get any tank, but for that you got some gold and metal buttons. And uh, yeah, we got also I think a very low chance to get the Rema wheel animated avatar, which is worth ten k gold. So only 0.1% chance to get the Rema wheel animated avatar. So a very, very low chance, like actually getting any tank. So as you can see there, the trading cards, which allows us to get to buy the Smasher and the, the Annihilator, which are the currency for the Smasher. And the Annihilator are, yeah, so rare and we got, we can get only every time five cards from each opening i think it's a very rare rare chance to get more what okay okay not bad so we got the tank and i'm gonna receive a gold compensation and 500 gold for that that's insane and as we can see here i received 3750 gold for the it's HPTK TVP 100. That's really pretty insane. Let's keep opening. So now for me, it's worth it. Even I uh, yeah wasted 30 euros, but I received a lot of stuff here. And also, I unlocked finally the KVJR. So for me it was really worth it to know, but as you saw, we have really a very very rare chance to get more than 5 cards, so that means to get the Smasher, we will need for the Smasher 200 cards, this is by the way um, just uh, the introduction of the KVJR, to get the Smasher from this event you will need to, yeah, open at least 40 of those okay to get the smasher and that's really a lot a lot of money 120 euros minimum and to get the annihilator you will need to open maybe more maybe 200 euros for the annihilator that's really a lot of money so let's keep opening how much left you got here um three barrels left and see what are we going to get from them and after opening 10 barrels so the last three we will have a chance also to open one rusty garage a lot of stuff we still can win here from this opening so let's check it out here we go here we go maybe another tank what the rammer the brand new tank it's mine and i mean this is so lucky this is so so lucky insane insane wow crazy oh no oh no oh no crowbar 500 gold three collectible containers second tank a lot of gold i mean wow this is just insane let's see what's going on here 10 trading cards and 1k gold okay so after opening um 10 of those barrels i got two tanks a lot plenty of gold and oh i still have another one because i oh this is this is just crazy okay let's open it 120 cards okay so if you are also maybe lucky enough you can get maybe from one time 100 so i'm gonna change the whole thing and um I'm, i will go back so we really actually maybe don't need to open um a lot of those barrels maybe you will need to open only to buy only 20 of uh, how they are called again a lot of stuff here maybe you will need uh, to buy only let's have a look again 20 of those can openers 
to maybe get the smasher, okay? If you are lucky enough. So, I would say you would need to open 30, okay? If you are lucky enough, you will get the smasher and the annihilator. So, so for 100 euros to get for sure maybe the smasher or the annihilator, it's your... It's all up to you now, guys. For me, that was really, really worth it. I got again another tank, a brand new tank. Here we go. Where is it? The rammer is now mine, guys. This is so crazy. Let's equip this tank and stay tuned. A full review about the rammer, rammer will be coming soon. We can go here for... 1800 dpm with this vehicle and now even for nearly 2k dpm as i told you stay tuned for a full review will be coming soon and yeah 350 of damage per shot i'm really excited to try out this vehicle but now let's play again um to showcase you again the annihilator and this measure with each vehicle i'm gonna play once and uh yeah Let's see if those vehicles still rocking it or not on the battlefield. Pretty sure, yes. I mean, those tanks um, are nearly most wanted vehicles in the game. Everyone want to get them. And we have now the opportunity to get them just for opening those metal barrels. Uh, yeah. By buying the can openers from the store. But first, I'm going to open also, use my metal points here. I also got some collectible containers from the opening. Let's open them. Oh, we got also black box. Nice. More gold. Mystery box. Insane. And here we go. Here we go. Let's have a look. 1k gold. Nice, nice, nice. This is really so far a very lucky opening. And yeah, now let's just play with the annihilator and the smasher and... I'm gonna showcase you again those vehicles. Let's go. And we are starting Enemy with the annihilator with this hit. yeah hilarious Enemy battle. Hit. Just why wait till the end. Um yeah, was just carrying my team. We're gonna lose this, but still a nice and a good showcase about the annihilator. How much damage we can go uh with this vehicle, especially if you are playing against tier seven and six tanks. And also how much damage we can block with this vehicle. So playing against the same tier tanks and lower tier tanks with this vehicle is absolutely OP. Again, shot blocked. We shall spend going for 650 of damage, and that's really amazing um, with this vehicle. If you really um, all of your shots go through, we can deal really a huge amount of damage with one uh, with one magazine with three shells. But the thing is, it's really not that easy to pen all of your shells with the same so you need to aim a lot take your time uh, not don't fire before um, the circle of your or t just take your time for your aiming so that you have a higher probability that you pen all of your shots or your shells so four versus two I'm going here already for 2.2k of damage. Vandal, no more Vandal. 1k damage blocked. And just wait for it guys, wait till the end to see my team guys. This is so hilarious. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor is hit. We've lost a crack. And that's it, I'm destroyed. 
and wait for it. Three point five K of damage, the second best player of my team. 900 damage, then 800 damage, and then 400 damage. This is amazing, isn't it? Whatever, but in my opinion, still a good showcase uh, about the Annihilator. And now let's play with the Smasher. And finally, this battle I got for you here with the Smasher, starting with a 1v1 versus another Smasher in the enemy team. Showing us again the armor profile of this tank with normal shells, with premium shells, so we can see really the difference. And this tank still have a good armor. Um, we can block some damage with it. I mean, it's the smasher, it's the finisher, it's the game changer. This tank can send one enemy tank after the other to the garage. And after the last buff, this tank got even buffed and we have better penetration with premium shells going for 283 of millimeter of penetration with this vehicle, making it really very effective also against uh, tier 8 tanks, not like the Annihilator, don't have the best penetration and if we play with the Annihilator against higher tier tanks, we will have maybe sometimes some penetration issues against tier 8 heavies, but it's not the case for the Smasher. Since this tank got buffed, we have really no penetration issues whatever against tier 8 heavies or good tier 8 TDs like I don't know, the Yak Tiger, etc. Okay, the the TS60 and another good enhanced or well armored tier 8 tank. So, um, yeah, this measure will stay them as the majestical smasher. Uh, pretty OP, uh, very strong at the right hands, and uh, it's just fun to play. So, I mean, tell me any player playing World of Tanks Split since years and uh, don't want to have the tank if you don't have it yet. I mean, it's the dream of a lot of players. It's one of the most wanted tanks in the game, and it's right now available in the store. Yes, if you are not lucky, you will need to maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know, pay 120 to 130 euros for it, but if you are lucky, maybe you will just need to pay less and you will get, uh, yeah, your tickets or whatever they are called. Um, from the first barrels who knows who knows but this tank is really worth it absolutely to go for and yeah it's the game changer it's very decisive always on the battlefield the thing is we need to play it from distance because of that long roll of time deal your damage from distance especially in the beginning of the battle or you will just get destroyed very fast if uh, some lights or mediums rush on you that's why I play it very careful like this i mean now i'm anyway hopeless okay i don't know what the buresk is doing i need actually help but he is not helping me right now yeah maybe if he helped me if you rush on the is3 i would maybe survive the situation i'm gonna get destroyed now anyway from the back by the or from the front by no from the back by the defender on K1. i'm gonna skip the spot we're gonna win luckily this battle uh, but that was also again here a good showcase um, to show you again this measure Going for 3.3k of damage. I think second class mastery badge or third class mass second class So I got also my three mastery emblems To get the grave digger as well with that we arrive to the end of this video guys I hope you enjoyed watching it and I wish you all good luck gambling the flea market um i hope you will be luckier than me i mean i was really pretty lucky but i still wish you all the best and maybe you're luckier than me and you'll get i don't know uh those um how they are called again come on you will get 200k gold or trading cards <clears throat> more than me in the first 10 barrels we have a chance to get even 300 and with that just a free annihilator already so maybe you are luckier than me and point of getting the trading cards thanks for watching fellas see you soon and bye bye